Hey howdy hey, my name's Astrovex, how you guys doing? And today we're doing Surgery Squad. And this is about ingrown toenail removal, which is um actually something I suffered with when I was younger. When I was about 12, um, I was really in and out of it, and it was just really annoying, and it was really, really bloody painful. And my friend was just like, oh, there's a game about it, you should totally play it. And I was like, why would I want to relive it? And then I realized, eh, it might be fun, so let's have a look. Apparently, in the beginning, it says this surgery may contain graphic procedures inappropriate for children or squeamish adults. So, if this isn't your thing, go watch something else. I think the Game Grumps have a video up that just went up, on, so you know, check that out. But if you feel like you want to look at something a bit winceful, then join me. Why don't you? Come on, it'd be great. So, let's begin. Ingrown Toenail Movie is sponsored by Clearly Trained Medical Simulations, Corporate Training, and e-learning. Surgery Squad with two nails and paled on a trident. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual hey. ingrown toenail removal. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be Hi, guiding Dr. you Jeff. through this procedure today. An ingrown toenail Ugh. happens when the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. Mine didn't look when anything occurs, like that. There is usually a moderate amount of pain, redness, and swelling around the toenail. That's true. An ingrown toenail is usually caused when Ugh. extra pressure is applied to the toe due to shoes that are too tight or too loose. I think that was Improperly my thing. Shoes not toenails, being... foot or toe deformities, injuries, and fungal issues can also be contributing factors. Well, I really regret getting a big monitor. There are some now. ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain, but remember that you should never attempt to remove an ingrown toenail yourself. Oh, if you're that's diabetic and have an ingrown toenail, no, I... it is recommended that you go to the doctor immediately. Well, now that you I'm understand diabetic. the causes of an ingrown toenail, let's toenail. put on our gloves and remove one. I our patient gloves. is ready, so let's begin by disinfecting the toe. <laughs> this is my first day! I didn't know I was going to be... Oh, shit. Uh, click and drag the iodine to sterilize the area. Click continue when done. Okay, so I'm guessing it's this red area. But... Why stop there? I think we should do the whole toe. You know, make it nice and pretty. Nice and pretty here. So, a little bit there. And a little bit here. And there we go. Isn't that much more attractive? That, that is the foot of an Oompa Loompa. That is like someone who just dipped their foot in Lucozade. <laughs> it, well, it's obviously covered now. I, you know, it's good to be thorough. Now, we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic. I'll get a we'll hammer. have to inject the anesthetic in several locations <laughs> around the toe. <laughs> Click where indicated to inject the local anesthetic. Um, oh, I remember this. Oh. Oh, I remember that sound. Oh, God. It was awful. Oh, this was the worst one at the top. Uh, I remember I had to distract myself by reading a PlayStation magazine. I was reading about Devil May Cry as they were injecting my foot. Oh. Actually, especially it was the Great. grossest thing ever. Now we'll wait a few minutes for the toe to get numb. Whoa! It's the best waiting ever! Now that our patient's toe is numb, mm -hmm. place the special tourniquet around the toe. This will help reduce the amount of blood coming from the wound. Once you've done that, we can move on to removing the ingrown portion of the toenail. Don't worry, buddy, I'm gonna keep this around it. Don't you worry, I'll keep it there! Look, it's working! First, carefully slide one blade uh, of the nail anvil under the affected nail. Oh, this all comes back now. No! Oh, God. Oh, please, hold my hand, please, hold my hand. No? Fine, screw you. Okay, brace yourself. We're going to go down the nail until we feel a little bit of resistance. Oh. Our patient's going to feel some pressure as we oh, cut away the pressure. ingrown nail. I felt it. Oh, it wasn't this big. Oh, mine was tiny compared to this. Ooh, no, one more. Oh, that's great. The worst. Take the forceps and carefully remove the ingrown nail. Oh, God. It's like I'm doing my own surgery. This is weird. Oh, God, I gotta pull it out now. So, eh, eh, eh. Oh, it tickles. Uh, eh. No, I think I'll just leave it in. Hey, there we go. Oh, a little strand of blood on it's it. It's getting uh, kind of messy in there. Let's clean uh, up that blood. Yeah, this is a bit messy. Yeah. There you go. There you See go. See that small bit of pale yellow substance right there? I didn't get that. It looks like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. Oh, great. Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that infection out as you can. I didn't have this. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's bad. That's totally bad. Uh, yeah, wipe away. Wipe away. There you that go. That toe is starting to look much better. 
but we're not done nice. yet. Next, we're going to apply some phenyl acid to the wound. This will help ensure that the problem of ingrowth will not reoccur in this toe. Oh, just wear better fitting shoes. Oh, this is one of the... Oh, no, 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 no. When you're done this? inserting the acid, oh, this I'll remove bad. the tourniquet and we'll no. finish up. Oh, the sound effects are just... You didn't have to make them that real. There you go. Oh, finish by bad. applying some antibiotic ointment on a sterile gauze pad. Find some gauze. Okay. Slurpy, 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 slurp. Oh, it looks Place like, it against the toe. Looks like a pop top. And wrap it in a gauze bandage. There you go. There you go. Oh, fantastic job! This, oh, all coming back now. This is this is what I asked. Since to do. there was some obvious infection, our patient will be sent home with a prescription for some antibiotics and steroids. We'll also so they can need rage to tell out. our patient to keep the wound dry, clean the wound regularly, and replace the bandage two to three times a day. No jumping in puddles. While our patient's toenail isn't likely to regrow, his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care what? of his feet. This includes wearing proper fitting shoes, properly trimming his toenails, and keeping his feet clean and dry. And that's how Mine we remove wasn't... an ingrown toenail. You did a great job today. <laughs> While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries no! here at SurgerySquad.com. No, maybe. Maybe I'll make a fun series out of this. This could be something. Ooh, a virtual colonoscopy. Ooh, that could be fun. Dental crown surgery. Mm, I wonder if they have anything like, I don't know, um... <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to see what else they are. This could turn into a series. I could do more of these in the future, and I think I will, because oh, mine wasn't anywhere near that bad. With half the nail gone and the pus, and ugh, I didn't have any of that. I just had a little infection, and it was. Oh, it took a while for it to go, but oh my god. Oh, this could be fun. I'm going to make a series out of this. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you really like it, I think you should favorite and subscribe and share with all your friends. So that was that. My name's Astrobex, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you, bye! Oh, he's got an owl in his face. I'm afraid! Ah! Shit! Whoa! Shit! Whoa! Get away! Get away! That's loud and annoying and scary! Uh, ugh, God, with the, that strand of Can we see that again in slow motion? Ugh, never again!